Hey guys, welcome to CR Entity Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create a hard surface design. So, without further ado, let's get started. To create the design, I need to add the cylinder. So, Shift A, add the cylinder, and we will go with the 36 words. Then, you need to scale the cylinder along the z-axis as like this. After that, you need to go to the top view, then go to the edit mode, select the top faces, and then use the insert operation. Then use the loop tool and the lock option to create the hole at there. This cylinder has a 36 faces in the circular form. So that's why here you need to select the first face and then 12th face. So select the faces in this way. Then you need to press E to extrude it. Then use the move tool and your transform pivot point should be bounding box and transform orientation should be normal. And then you can move it along the Z axis as like this. After that, you need to turn on your X-ray mode and you need to select the face loops and then delete this face loop. Then select these faces with the cross selection or you can increase that selection and then delete the faces. After that, you need to rotate it into the 120 degree angle. Then you can select these all three parts and you can join them together. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Now just you need to add 36 word cylinder. And then you need to adjust the scale like this. So you need to scale it along the X and Y axis. So S and then Shift C and then scale it along the X and Y axis. And then scale it down along the Z axis as like this. Then go to the rate mode of that cylinder. Then select the top faces and then use the insert operation add there. And then you can use the insert operation one more time and just try to match its border to the first cylindrical form then you can use the loop tool and then loft option add there to create the hole then you need to add the loop cuts like this then you can select this edge loop and then ctrl b and then add a bubble on this edge loops you need to select this face loops and you need to delete this face loop you need to do the same thing from the bottom side also Then you can select these edge loops and then right click for each edge loop to fill the gap. Easily you can do this. And then you can select this face loop and then delete this. Now just make both object visible. Now just you need to select the words of the first form. And you need to scale them along the Z axis and make them flat. Then you need to move these words along the normal Z axis and take this words a little bit inside of that outer border. You need to repeat the same step for remaining part. First scale it and then move it. It's very simple. Let's select the both objects and shift D to duplicate it and make a backup add there. After that you can select both object and you can use the boolean operation which is union. And then you can apply the boolean modifier and then you can delete that cutter object. And now you will get this kind of base mesh at here and you need to work on it. Now just you need to go to the top view, turn on your x-ray mode and then select these faces as like this with the cross selection. I just want to delete the faces at there. So that's why I select the faces and then delete them. Now you can see there are unwanted edges, so just select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve them. And then select the edges and then press F to fill the gap or you can use the bridge edge loop, anything you can. And just try to keep the clean topology on the model. Now just select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. After that you can select everything and then mesh symmetrize, take the symmetry along the X axis. Then shift D to duplicate it and make a backup. And now we can see this is the center edge of the model. And I need to select the faces with the cross selection as like this and then delete the faces. So just select the faces and then delete the faces. So we can take the duplica and we can rotate it to complete the form. So let's start to work on this part. Then here also you need to select everything and then take the symmetry along the Z axis. 
now just you need to turn on the exit mode and delete the one half of the model and then delete the bottom part also add the mirror modifier and then take the symmetry along the x and z axis here i'm just rotating the model into the 180 degree and now i will work on this part of the model so here you need to use the knife tool and then create a cut like this you don't need to worry about the outer cylindrical form we will manage that we will weld the work and we can keep the good form on the model so now just add the support loop cuts like this to maintain the good form on this joint parts so that's why just we need to add the support loop cuts in this way wherever it's possible use the knife tool or insert edge loop And then you can start to create the loop structure at here. So use the knife tool, then create a loop structure like this, which I create in my every modeling. So select the words, right click, connect the vertex path, then dissolve the each loops, and then connect the words. And just try to create that loop structure wherever it's possible. Just you need to watch the process carefully so you can understand it very well. And now the next important thing you need to add the sub modifier. And according to that you need to add the support loop cuts on the model. Now I should start to think about the outer cylindrical form. So that's why you need to add the loop cuts like this on this flat surface. And here we will weld the words to maintain that outer cylindrical form. So select the words and press M and merge at the center and you can merge the words as like this just to maintain the good form at there and this is the flat surface so we can keep the triangle at there to maintain the good form and to maintain the good design on the model. You don't need to worry about the shading on the flat surface. You will get it pretty well. So weld the words like this and you should think about the design more rather than the topology. Your design is the most important thing and then topology comes. So both things are important but you should try to keep a good balance in between them to achieve the good result. Then you need to apply the mirror modifier at there. Now just I want to create a little bit of design at there so that's why I'm going to add the cylinder with the 12 words. Then scale down the cylinder and give the right position to it. Then set the transform pivot point to the 3D cursor and then select that outer loop structure and then scale it along the X and Y axis. So you can increase the little bit of thickness at there and I can add the cylindrical detail at there. Then you can select these two objects and then use the boolean operation which is union. And then you can apply the boolean modifier and then delete that cutter object. And now just you need to start to work on this part of the model. So you can select these faces and then delete the faces. Now just select these top and bottom faces and then delete them. And then select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. Just fill the gap from the top and bottom. Then you can select the words right click connect vertex path and here you need to merge the words. So that's why just select the words and then merge them. Now just clean the topology a little bit. So you can get the idea to create the right topology at there, right loop structure at there. Then you can use the knife tool and you can create a new topology at there that loop structure which will help you to keep the good form on the model. Then select the words right click connect vertex path 
and then try to get the decent looking loop structure at there and then create a new topology as like this. Then you can select the words and then connect them and just try to maintain the good form on the model. And now here also you need to play with the topology and you need to weld the words to maintain the good outer cylindrical form. So select everything mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x axis and then z axis and just try to create the good cylindrical form at there. Then you can add the sub modifier on the model and we are facing the little bit of difficulty with the shading because of the wrong face orientation. So that's why select everything and then press Alt N and then recalculate the normal. So you will get the right face orientation at there. Just we need to work the little bit on the model. So add the support ellipses like this. Then you can select the faces with the help of X remote. Just give the right position to the circular shape and then control X to dissolve these edges and use the insert operation. And then create a little bit of boolean details at there. Just turn on that sub modifier and then add the support to loop cuts on the model to see the smooth shading. And that looks really well. Now just select that object and then shift D to duplicate it. Change the transform pivot point to 3D cursor and rotate it into the 120 degree angle and complete the circle. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged and you will get this complete ring design at there which looks really well. Just add few loop cuts at here then select the words and then merge them at the center because I want to maintain the good cylindrical form from the inner side of that ring. So that's why I need to select the words and I need to weld them together. So select these words and then weld them. Then you can take the symmetry along the x-axis and then z axis and then select this edge loops and then control x to dissolve them so you can maintain the good cylindrical form at there and now you can see that looks well now just i will create a little bit of more design i will build the connection in these two cylindrical form small cylinder and that inner cylindrical ring so you can watch the process
and now you can see the model looks decent. In this way you can create this kind of model. I have tried to maintain the good topology and good form and good design on the model. Yeah, you can find this kind of design on different instrument for the airflow. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.